Hi, this is lesson number 25 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn about color channels and two basic color modes RGB and CMYK. We will also learn and observe that how Photoshop is using these two color modes and color channels. RGB is the short form of red, green, blue. In the other hand, CMYK is cyan, magenta, yellow, black. RGB colors are generated by light, fluorescent and shining color and we are using for desktop and web presentation. CMYK color used for printing. Here I have another image to explain. In this picture you can see I have a prism that is a triangular piece of glass. The main source of RGB is the white bright light as you can see in the image. When we projected the light to the prism, it passes to the prism go beyond and created color spectrum. You can see this side we have colorful rainbow. Basically these colors are generated by the basic white light. Meaning to say the combination of these all colors is white bright light. The basic RGB colors are red, green and blue. And once these three basic colors multiply to each other creating millions of color shades. But once you will put them all together they will become bright white and this is what we are going to prove in the other demonstration. Let me open new document, file, new, 1000 by 1000 pixels, color mode is RGB, I will leave it as it is and I will choose a black background since these colors are generated by light. So it is better to demonstrate on the black, click create and here we have document with a black background. Now we are going to see how Photoshop is using these color mode in color channel. Under layer palette, here you can see we have a channel palette. If you don't have one, you can click on windows and here we have channels, you can open. So if I will click on the channel, we have RGB, red, green and blue. RGB is the composite and the individual channels are presented by name red, green and blue. If I will select the red and fill color in this channel using brush tool, my brush tool is selected, hardness 100%, we can increase the size. Now we are in the red channel, make sure that your foreground color is white and just dab once. If you observe here in the channel palette, on red I have white color but at the same time when you will see in the RGB composite it is red. So each individual channel is presented by white bright color because the basic source of RGB is white bright light. So same thing if I will click on the green, once again I will dab my brush on the green channel and go back to RGB, look at this, in RGB composite it is green but in specific channel it is presented by white. Same thing with the blue, we will select the blue channel and click. Now when we will see in the RGB that is blue. Another thing I will point out here that CMYK cyan magenta yellow colors are hidden also in RGB. Let us click on the move tool. Look here, the combination of green and blue is cyan, blue and red is magenta and red and green it is yellow, so cyan, magenta, yellow. And in the center here, when we combine all together, the basic color is white. As I explained here in the prism, these are the basic three shades RGB, but these three shades have also multiple colors. If I will click here, red, green and blue, each color from 0 to its extreme intensity is having 256 shades including 0. So when we will multiply them together, 256 red multiply 256 green and multiply 256 blue will be equal to 16.7 million colors. And these are the exactly same 16 M color we are looking once we go in the market and buy smart device. In this image here, we learn and observe that the each channel is presented by white 
and the same principle applied to the image. If I will click on this image and select one of the channel, let us say red. Now here, wherever is white color, that is the presence of red. In this area, you can see this is bright white, this flower here to the right side. So if we will go back to the RGB composite, you will see red here. Same thing if I will click on green. Now this area is having green color and the white is presenting green. Top right corner at the bottom here. So you can see that is a green color. And same thing for blue. If I will click on the blue. Now in this area we have blue color and it is presented in the blue channel white bright color. Now let us talk about CMYK. I am going to open another document file new and this time we will change the color mode to CMYK and we will choose the background white because once you combine all CMYK color that's become black. So it is good idea to demonstrate on the white background. Click OK. Now since we have CMYK color mode so our channel is presenting cyan, magenta, yellow, black and CMYK composite. Let us do the same thing here with the brush. Click on brush tool and this time we are going to select black color. So I will just switch here. Our foreground is black and one of the channel if I will select here cyan and click. Look at this CMYK color mode is opposite. Now on the white background the individual channel is presented by black but once you will see in the CMYK composite it is cyan. Same thing if I will do with the magenta, yellow, let us see the CMYK, we have cyan, magenta and yellow. And even in the black, I can just click somewhere here. When we will go back to the CMYK composite, clearly you can see once we combine all of them together, that is become black. And another thing, RGB is also here magenta and yellow, red, yellow and cyan is green, cyan and magenta is blue. But here you cannot see RGB bright shades because our color mode is CMYK. RGB colors are basically light colors and there is a million colors, all of them is not possible to print. But CMYK colors are printable. I can give you an easy example of RGB. Once you will light up the room with the blue, for certain time the room will be blue. When you will switch off the light and turn on the bright white light source, there will be no more blue. But on the other hand, if you painted the wall with a blue color, the room will be permanent blue and the light will not affect even you turn on and off, it will remain blue. RGB colors are the light color, CMYK in other hand is pigment color for printing purpose. Now you have better idea that which color mode you will use to present your layout. When you are going to design something for web or desktop, always use monitor color RGB and if you intended to print something, use CMYK color mode. Using image menu, you can change the color mode also. If I will click here, image mode and you can see RGB color mode is there and if I will click on CMYK, now Photoshop is giving message that the image will be converted to CMYK colors. So if I will click OK, there will be no more bright shiny colors. Our image is little bit changed and this is how it will look once it is printed. Control Z undo. Channels in Photoshop are not just to present the red, green, blue or CMYK colors. There is many other things we can do with the channel. In our coming lesson, we will be learning more in depth. Open the similar images, open new document with the black and white background, try to play with the channels in both CMYK and RGB mode and try to see if you get the things what we have learned in this lesson. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.